Hey guys, this week's video is a DIY shirt, tie-dye shirt. And in the video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made my yin yang sign. And the colors I chose, you guys do not have to choose. But it may make it easier for you guys, I guess, if you guys do the same colors. But you don't have to. And I chose a blue and a pink in this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. For this video, what you're going to need is two gloves, the two bottles of dye, or how many bottles you choose to use, and the rubber bands to tie off the shirt wherever you want it to be tied off. Next, what you're going to want to do is get a pencil to draw the design you need. Next, you're going to want to use the pen to go over the line you, you did in pencil. That way when you are folding it, the line is more darker and you know where to, where to stop and where to fold. After doing so, you can draw your two circles on the bottom and top to finish off the yin yang sign in pencil that way if you make any mistakes you can always go back and erase them to make them good just like before you're going to want to use the pen to go over the line or circle you did in pen that way when you like tie it off you'll know where to stop after going over the line and circles with a pen you're gonna wanna start folding the shirt accordion style until you get all the way to the top. Next, just get a rubber band to tie off the middle. That way that line will separate the two colors you're gonna tie dye your shirt. Now you're just going to find your two circles and tie them off with the rubber band to separate the color you use when tie dyeing one side of the shirt. I will show you what I mean in a couple of minutes. Make sure when using the rubber bands, you secure um, whatever you're tying very tightly so the color doesn't bleed through so much. Next, you're going to want to do is fill up the two dyes you are using with water, not too warm and not too hot, and then make sure your hands are dry before putting on the gloves. Now, I thought my shirt was too open. So I decided to grab two more rubber bands to tie off my shirt and doing so is going to put a little more design into it.
Now just start adding dye onto your shirt. And as you can see here, my dye wasn't staying on so well. So I needed to get a cup of water to add to my shirt to get it more wet. If you're tie dyeing one color, you're going to want to dye the circle the opposite color. So as you see here, I'm, I'm dyeing the circle pink while that half of the shirt is blue. And I'm going to do the same to the next side, just switched. I started dyeing the opposite circle blue while the rest of the shirt is going to be pink. And as you can see here, I ended up using my gloves and touching the pink side. So what I do next is start putting pink on the blue side and adding more blue to the pink side. That way it could match and it won't look as if I did a mistake. But that will be just between us. If you don't want too much white on your shirt, you can go into the folds to add more dye to get rid of most of the white spots. Once you're done using all your tie-dye colors, you're going to want to grab a plastic bag to put the shirt in and leave it overnight so all the color can get soaked up into the shirt. After letting the tie-dye sit overnight, you're going to want to take it to go wash out all the color but make sure you use gloves because this will stain your hands and make sure to use as warm water as possible. You're going to want to try to get the water to be as clear as possible before you take off the rubber bands just in case any of the color um, gets on to the other shirt when washing it off. So I wouldn't drip all the water everywhere, I decided to grab a towel to take it to the washroom.
Now just make sure to put it in the dryer so the shirt can dry fully before you can put it on. This is how the shirt should be as the finished product. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And like I always say, see you guys next Friday.